So you're thinking about moving to San Ramon, California, but you want to know the good and bad before you do? Well, do I have a video for you. Today we are going to be going over everything that you need to know when it comes to moving to San Ramon, California. The good, the bad, the pros, the cons, and it's all coming right now. Hey, if this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything about eating, sleeping, working, playing, living the good and the bad of San Ramon, California and surrounding areas in the Bay Area, then subscribe and tap the bell below so you can be the first to know about the current market in the Bay Area, California. My name is AJ Gomez with the XP Realty and we get calls and emails every day from people just like you who are thinking about making a move to the area and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in a week, a month, or a year from now, we can move as fast as you want or as slow as you want when it comes to making a smooth move into the Bay Area, California. So before we get into the good and bad about San Ramon, I just want to give you a little bit of a background just in case you're not too familiar with the area. San Ramon is a pretty population dense kind of city. It's a bit on the smaller side. It does have a population of just over 85,000. And San Ramon is located in the Tri-Valley just right underneath Danville, but right above Dublin, right next to the 680 running straight through it. And according to niche.com, San Ramon gets an overall score of A+, which is incredible because this factors in categories such as schools, housing, how good it is for families, diversity, crime and safety, and more. So the fact that it has an A+, rating, <laughs> is really great for those thinking of moving into the area. The average home value here in San Ramon sits at 1.06 million, just a little bit above it, with over 71% of residents owning their home. And also according to niche.com, San Ramon ranks 23rd in terms of best places to live in California in 10th in terms of best places to raise a family in California. Now, these stats don't surprise me too much because to be honest, from being around the Tri-Valley, living and working in the area, San Ramon is one of those cities that I really don't have much to say bad on, even on this pros and cons list that I'm about to give you. The cons, you can kind of say for almost everywhere in the Bay Area, excluding a couple. It's really nitpicky. There's so much more to like about San Ramon than there is to not. So with that being said, let's get into it. Pro number one is the schools. Now, if you hear me talk about it in some of my other videos, whether that's our Dublin vlog tours or the Pleasant Hill tours, um, San Ramon is very well known for being one of those cities that has some of the best public schools in California and even in the country. San Ramon is one of the hot spots for schools so if that is something that you and your family are definitely looking into i would highly recommend you check out san ramon with um according to greatschools.org having an overall eight out of ten or higher grade on almost all of their public schools in the area which is absolutely amazing because the greatschools.org is no easy critic and the second pro on our list here is the weather now in some of my other videos like the dublin pros and cons I didn't mention this as kind of a pro and a con, but it really is on your personal taste. Um, the fact that San Ramon is behind uh, the hills compared to the other side of the East Bay, you're right behind the Dublin Hills. You don't get much moisture coming in from the West Coast, from the sea like San Francisco does. So because of that, you're going to have a bit more seasons when it comes to the area. Um, not like something you would experience like winters in Chicago or summers in Florida but you are going to have your occasional heat waves you know in the summer you can expect mostly around 90 degrees on average 80 to 90 bright and sunny with a couple heat waves coming close towards 100 but then in the winter you can expect a couple cold waves you know some days being the 50s and then at nights um i've seen as low as uh san ramon probably about 40 35. Um, if you're on the other side if you're near more castro valley hayward oakland then you, the nights get cold. The, the coldest time I've seen it on that side because I used to work primarily in Hayward. There were some nights where it was 28 degrees and it looked like a scene out of a horror movie. I mean, it was just foggy. You couldn't see more than about 20, 30 feet in front of you and just fog. 
and 28 degree weather. Yeah, so you won't get any of that in Santa Ramon if you're worried about that. So that is definitely a pro on this list for you. And then another pro on our list here is that there are plenty of things to do really when it does come to Santa Ramon. I mean, when it comes to the city itself, you have Bishop Ranch, which is a marketplace that they just opened up in the last couple of years. And there's an extraordinary modern shopping center, which they're also planning to build an extension of it right near it. Um, I'm not sure when it's planned to be built, planned to be completed, but I know they're expanding. San Ramon is really good um, about evolving and constantly putting in new infrastructure, putting their money back in to the community, much like Dublin. Um, so that is definitely a pro on this list. I mean, they have farmers markets every Saturday that you can go to on top of the shopping centers that they have to offer. And then on top of that, you are right in the middle of the Tri-Valley. I mean, you have Pleasanton and Livermore right below you, Danville right above you, along with Dublin right there, and then Walnut Creek above along with Concord, which all have their own amazing shopping centers and even some nightlife for you. Now, the fourth pro on our list here is that San Ramon is a pretty safe city. Um, doing the work that I've done, obviously as a realtor in the area, showing clients around different neighborhoods of San Ramon, going to different showings, what have you, and also a couple of the current resident reviews that I'm going to get into later in the video, they can all vouch for San Ramon being a very safe city. And I mean, the statistics speak for itself. It is the 10th, 10th best place to raise a family in California for a reason and crime and safety is definitely one of them. And then the fifth pro that we have on our list here is location. You are nestled right in the heart of the Tri-Valley, right above Livermore, Pleasanton, Dublin, right below Danville, Walnut Creek, Concord, all of those cities bringing their own amazing shopping centers and nightlife that they have to offer. So many different types of restaurants and shopping centers that you can visit. And it's all within 20 minutes. All those cities I named are within 20 minutes north, 20 minutes south, and I'd even say most of them within 15 minutes. And on top of that, you are right along the 680. That can take you anywhere you need to go in a hurry. And then you can also hop over to the 880 if you need to go to San Jose or San Ramon or, sorry, <laughs> San Jose or San Francisco and anywhere else you need to go in the Bay Area, you are nestled right near the two major freeways. And then the first con that I'm going to get into here, like I said, these cons are nitpicky. I only have two of them for a reason. The first one being the traffic. Um, if you are driving during commuter hours when it comes to the 680 and the 880, even the 580, you're gonna run to traffic. I mean, this is definitely one of the more popular freeways in the area. Um, during commuter hours, you have a ton of people coming from more of the inland in California, whether that's Modesto, Stockton, Sacramento, trying to either get in or get out of the Bay Area. So there's almost always traffic in commuter hours. I think in the time I've lived here and over several years of being here, I have driven maybe once when there was very much no traffic on the freeway during like five o'clock rush hour. There was no traffic. I mean, there was literally maybe like 10 cars in the line of sight and it felt like I was in the matrix. I was like, this isn't normal. I like, it was like, is there like a holiday or a sporting event going on that I don't know about? Because yeah, it's very rare to see the freeway just completely opened up like that. So that is definitely a con on this list if you are thinking of moving into the area. And then the second con here that I have for you, the second and final con, is that there's no downtown area. There's really no nightlife. San Ramon is not the city for that. Um, but like I said, it's very nitpicky when it comes to this con because you are right near Danville, Livermore, Pleasanton, and Walnut Creek and Concord, which all boast their own very traditional classic downtown areas that are all beautiful and unique in their own way that feature many different types of local businesses and restaurants and very diverse options choose from and they are all amazing downtowns to just walk through and go out for a date night or a night out with friends. Now I do have a couple current resident reviews that I want to read out for you just to give you even more of a better idea on everything you should know when it does come to Santa Mount. So here we go. First one being the city boasts a number of parks and open spaces including the Las Trampas Regional Wilderness and Mount Diablo State Park. 
These areas provide ample opportunities for outdoor recreation, including hiking, biking, and wildlife observation. Second quick review I have for you is, San Ramon is a very nice place to live. It's quiet, friendly, and above all, safe. It is close to many places like San Francisco and Sacramento and San Jose, and not super far from much of the other cities in the Bay Area either. And then this one is personally my favorite review as it gives you a really good overall feel of Santa Mon. So here we go. It's a good city, very residential oriented. There isn't much of a downtown, just the new city center like Bishop Ranch and the surrounding commercial complex. There are two areas. There's new Santa Mon and there's old Santa Mon. These two areas are divided by the highway. Old Santa Mon has, as the name suggests, older homes and was developed long before the new San Ramon. And then just so you know what they mean by old and new San Ramon, uh, new San Ramon is more of the east side, like Windermere and Gale Ranch. Those are a lot newer communities than the older San Ramon that were built in like the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Just so you have a better idea of um, what they're referring to here. The environment is school oriented as the area has two really top shelf schools, Daughtery Valley and California High. It's a scenic city in the spring when the hills are nice and green. It's a great place to live. It's a bit expensive, but not as much as other parts of the Bay, like anywhere in the South Bay near San Jose, which is true. I mean, you can go to San Francisco, San Jose, even some parts of the East Bay are more expensive than San Ramon. Uh, but when you say if it's more expensive or not, this is kind of a pro and a con, and I should have included it before I went to the cons, but I'm gonna throw it out for you right now. The cost of living is a bit of a pro and a con. It depends where you're coming from. It's all perspective. If you're coming from Stockton, Modesto, Sacramento, it's going to be a con. If you're coming from Palo Alto, Mountain View, San Mateo, San Francisco, it is going to be a pro. So it's all perspective, but definitely do your research ahead of time before making a move into the area. And with that being said, that is going to wrap up the good and the bad of San Ramon, California. I hope you guys really took some value from this video. And if you want to know more, if you want to go see some homes, please don't hesitate to reach out. My contact info is all right down below in the description. Whether you're moving in a week, a month, or a year from now, we can move as fast or as slow as you want when it comes to making a smooth move into the Bay Area. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys around town.